Hello, people of the internet. Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling face again here on YouTube. So, wouldn't it be great if there was a way in Lightroom just to click on a photo and say, hey, show me all the rest of my photos that look like this one. So I'll give you an example. The other day, I was writing an article for Photo Focus for Earth Day. Um, part of that article was involving the Florida manatee. And over the past year or so, I've taken a lot of pictures of Florida manatees in different places. But rather than me having to go through my Lightroom catalog, searching for all the different folders that contain manatee photos, wouldn't it be cool if you could just right click on one and say, hey, show me all the pictures that look just like this one. And Lightroom could do that? Well, you guessed it. Turns out that dream is a reality with a plugin from a company called Xire. And I'm gonna show you how that works. I'll give you a few examples and I'll tell you what's good and what's bad. So stick around. But before we jump into Lightroom, I'd just like to say, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. As always, thanks for being here. Um, if anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates to this channel. That would be the nicest thing that you could do for me as a way of saying thank you. And best of all, it's free. So hey, let's dive right into Lightroom and take a look at this very cool plugin that's gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier, especially if you have a very large Lightroom catalog. Let's get started. Okay, so we are here in Lightroom Classic. So XR Search 2 works as a plugin to Lightroom Classic. So essentially you install it like you would install any other program on your computer and it will install itself as a plugin into Lightroom. You do need Lightroom Classic 6 or better and you do need to have Windows 10 64-bit or Windows 11. And if you're a Mac user, you need Mac 10.14 or better, 8 gig of RAM, 16 if you have a large catalog, um, 375 to 800 megabyte of free disk space. Uh, if you have a very large catalog like me, I have you know, well over 100,000 photos. Yeah, you're going to need that 16 gig. It's going to take a while for this to index. So the first thing you need to do after you install the program and open up Lightroom is you go to Library go to plugin extras, and then you're going to initialize your photos. So initializing the photos, and that's under this XR search menu that will be in Lightroom after you've installed the plugin. Um, so once you initialize the photos, be prepared for that to take a while. It could take, you know, depending on the size of your catalog, I mean, it could take six, eight hours. Uh, so maybe you do it before you go to bed and you wake up in the morning and it's done. If you have a small catalog, it may only be a few minutes. But essentially what it's doing is it's analyzing all your photos and classifying them so that when you do searches, it's going to produce effective results. So I have on my screen in front of us here, right, the Florida manatee. Now, not a very common mammal, right? You don't see the Florida manatee all over the place. I mean, they're actually, in, you know, endangered. So, um, and they're only in a few places in the world, right? So. Definitely not something that's going to be in the AI algorithm of, of this search engine, right? But I already know because, you know, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I was doing a article on a manatee for photo focus and I did need to pull up a whole bunch of pictures all at once. So let me show you how that works and you'll see how, how really, really good it works. It's actually amazingly impressive, right? So just go down to plugin extras and we're just going to say in the XR search menu, search by example photo and it's going to bring up this dialog and by default it's set here so we have criteria right are we searching by photo content or color well we want to definitely in this case search by content because we just want manatees now how similar the photos are uh, in terms of being restrictive or loose and that's really going to define how good your results are i kind of tend to make it a little bit more restrictive to try and get more accurate results. I find set in the middle, it'll work really well, but you're going to get some other ones thrown in there. You know, you might end up with a penguin or, you know, uh, you know, some other stuff that you're kind of like, well, huh? I mean, you can kind of see, but maybe not. All right. So I, I slide it a little bit more restrictive 
And then it's going to ask you, do you want to search your entire catalog, meaning every picture you've ever taken on any date, or just the film strip, meaning just the film strip that's down here, just the, the uh, folder of images that you're currently viewing. And then how many do you want? So I'm going to say 100. That's the default, and that's fine. And then it's going to ask you to overwrite previous, and that's checked by default. And you're going to say yes, usually. The reason for that is it's going to create a collection inside of Lightroom every time you do a search. So overwriting the previous will just mean that there's just always one search catalog. Well, I'm sorry, collection, and that's fine for me. Uh, so I just hit start, and boom, done. It automatically switches us to the XIR search collection. And you'll see down here below, you see that we have 100 photos. So let's bring it up in thumbnail view and see how it did. And sure enough, we now have lots of manatee pictures. And uh, you gotta admit, I mean, again, this is an unusual mammal. So it's not uh, something that you can, you know, it's, it's not a horse. You know, it's not a, a, an animal that, that's so common that you would expect it to be in there. And, and it's really nailed it. Now, all right, so 98, 99, all right, it missed. You know, we've got a shark there, and I don't know what, something from an aquarium. But uh, it got 98 out of 100, right? And that's pretty impressive. Now, I've also noticed that the beginning tends to be more accurate. And towards the end, it gets a little bit looser with its searches. And yeah, it missed two over here, and that's okay. But... You know, again, I mean, you know, to be able to pull out in the snap of a finger, a hundred manatee images across all different dates and folders uh, within Lightroom is to me really impressive. But hey, there's more. Let me show you what else this thing can do. So we know we can find our manatees, but let's go back over to library. Let's go to plug in extras. And now we can also do external example photo photos so that's something that's not in your catalog something that's on a thumb drive or a net drive or something that's disconnected we could search by keyword and so let's take a look at how searching by keyword works so i already have this checked from a previous search but uh, we'll uncheck that so here's a bunch of different keywords that it has assigned to images in my catalog but let's say for example we did want to try leading lines um, we can search for photos with leading lines and it's telling us to 732 that's going to match But then we can choose the dominant color as well, which is really great. So let's say we wanted ones with uh, again this this bright blue and Maybe green. All right, so we want these two as the dominant colors bright blue and green. Okay uh, We can just remove one if we want to but that's narrowing things down to 11 photos in my catalog and let's give that a try. Uh, we're gonna overwrite the previous results again, right? So that we are basically overwriting our manatee search. So we're not adding collection after collection into Lightroom. And that's okay by me. So let's hit start. And we have 11 photos with leading lines with blue and green, just like that. So, you know, amazing to me, um, you know, this is just fantastic. It, it, uh, it really nails it. Um, and again, we can just go back in and we can change that search to whatever we wanted if we didn't pick out the exact thing that we wanted. So let's do a more broad search now. So let's go back to plugin extras. Let's go to keyword and let's remove blue and green and let's do leading lines. That's 732. We're going to do 100 results though because 100 is plenty, right? So now we got a whole bunch of different leading line photos. We could just go back to library, go to plugin extras and search by keyword again. But this time let's look for orange and blue. And I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna find any. Let's see if we can narrow it down to red and blue. All right, oh, you know what? Because I'm choosing cyan, that's probably the problem. Okay, all right. so. It's telling us right down here that we're not going to find what I'm trying to narrow it down to, but let's just use blue as the predominant color. So we're going to do 65 photos, but we're going to do just the film strip. And now we're down to 23. So let's start that. So essentially what I did was I took the first search and then narrowed it down with the second search, searching only the results from the first search. 
So I went from 100 photos down to 23 photos by choosing blue as the predominant color in the image. Okay, so you see how you can build on search after search to refine your searches. And generally, it works really well. All right, so let's try and find some faces using the XR Search 2 plugin. So let's go back to library plugin extras and let's do search for faces. So we get this nice dialog box here and it's going to ask us what kind of faces do we want to see? So it's going to search our entire catalog or film strip for different faces. So I'm going to take two faces because I want a couple. Uh, we could choose, you know, single face, a single portrait, several faces or any, but I want a couple. Uh, we could choose a baby toddler, a child, teenager, adult or elderly, right? Or a combination of those by checking different boxes. Well, let's just do adults. And then we could choose a female or male, uh, depending on how dominant the, the portrait's going to be. And then with smile or no smile. So, and of course you can put these in the middle as well. Okay. So, you know, this would basically say, Hey, I don't care if they're smiling or not smiling, but I want to see smiling and let's say female. So female dominant, dominant portrait. <laughs> We're going to search the whole catalog and we could change this from anywhere from 5,000 to as little as 10. Let's take 25 as a search result there. And let's see what the plugin gives us. Okay. So we now have 25 portraits of couples. Okay. And pretty much has nailed this down pretty well. So of course, now we can continue to refine our searches if we wanted to, or if we were looking for a particular individual, we could say, just click on a photo. And now we could say, Go back down and we can say search for people. Okay. And it brings up this dialogue and now we could choose who we want to search for, but if we were searching for the bride, it actually has selected the bride for us automatically. And now we have some options. So smile, eyes open, no smile, right? How many faces and how restrictive. And then again, how many do we want? So we could refine that search by of course, just searching the film strip, which would only search the previous search. And searching the catalog. Yes, it does pull out our bride. And there she is. And then one other super useful tool, and I've kind of already demonstrated it, but I just want to show you how you can use it. So I have a catalog here of pictures from the zoo and I have some bears. I have my wife, I have some turtles, some manatees, right? But I just want the bears. So I could just pick out one of these photos here and I can just go over to library, plug in extras, and we'll say search by example photo. Now by just choosing the film strip, right? I can hit start. And now I have narrowed down that shoot to simply bears with just a click. And you can see now we only have the bears. So things like that are incredibly helpful also. So you can take a, a full day of shooting. And if you only needed one particular thing, just narrow it down, like in a snap of a finger, right? So that's incredibly helpful. And, and I think that it's a huge time saver. So overall, I really love this plugin. This is a great tool to incredible value for your money. And there is a companion program to this uh, called Xire Photo that really refines searches um, even more narrow and, and with uh, the ability to add keywords into your photos. So you can actually analyze your catalog and then add tons of keywords to your photos uh, through an AI based program. But that's a separate program and it's not needed for this. And it's something that I can cover in a different video, uh, but it is a separate program from Lightroom. So this is a plugin that and I feel like this is something that I'm going to use all the time. And I think you will too. System requirements. It is Windows 10 or Windows 11 and then Mac. It's Windows 10.14, uh, I believe. Yes, 10.14. Lightning Classic version 6 or more. 8 gig of RAM recommended, but 16 if you have a bigger catalog. Um, you know, they're saying 100,000 photos or more, which I definitely do. Um, and 375 to 800 megabyte of hard drive space, which should be fairly easy requirement for 
most people. All right, so that's that. Uh, there is a trial version, so you can check this out. And then the price on it is $69, I believe. Let's take a look. Yes, $69. So that's fairly reasonable, and I will leave you a link down below the video description. All right, well, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please feel free to, again, hit that like button and subscribe. I appreciate that. It's kind of the nicest thing that you could do for me as a way of saying thank you. And by all means, leave me a comment if you tried it out or if you're going to try it out and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, if you are familiar with this channel, you know that for the most part, try my best to answer everybody's comments so drop me a line even if it's just to say hello because I do appreciate you and I do appreciate hearing from all of you so uh, it's always welcome so thanks for that and I will see you next time YouTube okay thanks bye bye